which carbs should you add and which carbs should you eliminate if you have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, abdominal obesity, or type 2 diabetes. At the end of this video, I'm also going to show you a hack on how to consume those good carbs can start reversing conditions related to high insulin. This is what you need to know about carbs. When you consume carbs, your body breaks them down into blood sugar or blood glucose. The glucose spike will trigger the release of a hormone called insulin. Insulin is used to carry the glucose into your cells for energy. When you consume processed carbs, you get cravings. You end up spiking your glucose all day long. And the more glucose you have, the more insulin you have. This leads to type 2 diabetes and all conditions related to type 2 diabetes. When you consume carbs made by nature, they are loaded with fibers. Fibers make you feel full so you don't have cravings and fibers don't spike your glucose. So it keeps your insulin low. Here's the hack. If you start your meal with your processed carbs, this is the glucose spike you're gonna have. However, if you start the same meal with the fibers first, you're gonna have less of an insulin response. By keeping your insulin low, you will start reversing all conditions related to insulin resistance.